Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn how to generate eBay bills online using Tally Prime. You will need to generate an eBay bill for movement of a consignment with goods valuing either rupees 50,000 or more or value prescribed by each state. Tally Prime release 2.0 onwards, you can enjoy the benefits of a fully connected eBay bill experience. Depending on your choice and business requirement, you can choose to exchange the eBay bill information with the eBay bill system at the time of saving the voucher. Thereafter, eBay bill will be generated. You can then print the sales invoice with the eBay bill annexure, which will have all the eBay bill information and the QR code. The annexure will be similar to that of the eBay bill system. You can scan the QR code to get all the details captured in it and verify those details. Before eBay bill generation using Tally Prime, you need to generate eBay bill credentials on the eBay bill system. While generating credential as an API user, you will need to select Tally India Private Limited as your preferred GSP. And you need to do a one-time setup in Tally Prime. In Tally Prime, press F11, go to Enable Goods and Services Tax GST and press Enter. The GST details screen appears. Ensure that eBay bill applicable is set to Yes. Other details will be pre-filled. Under Threshold Limit includes, you can select from the list of values as applicable. Under Goods Shipped From, Tally Prime takes the primary address set under F11 as the default address. However, you can change the address while recording the transaction. Set Print eBay Bill with Invoice as Yes so that you can print eBay Bill with Invoice at the time of voucher creation. Press Ctrl A to save the settings. Now that we have set up Tally Prime for eBay bill, let's generate one. Press Alt G, go to Create Voucher and press Enter. The Accounting Voucher Creation screen appears. Click Sales or press F8. Ensure that you are not in the Accounting Invoice mode. Under Party Account Name, select the party. The Dispatch Details screen opens. Enter the required details in the respective field as applicable. Press Enter and the Party Details screen appears. The details are pre-filled as per the information provided in the Party Ledger. Press Enter. Now, select Sales Ledger and press Enter. Select the item. Enter quantity. Rate will be pre-filled or you can enter it. Amount will get calculated based on quantity and rate. You can enter more items if needed. Select ledgers for SGST and CGST if the transaction is within one state. However, select the IGST ledger if the party is from another state. Press Enter twice and the cursor will be on Provide GST eBay Bill Details. Set the option to Yes. The additional details, Sales Taxable screen appears. eBay Bill will be generated based on the details you enter in the screen. Dispatch from and ship to will be pre-filled based on the address provided in the company and party ledger respectively. Now, enter the distance in kilometers. This is distance between the addresses of the consigner and consignee. The validity of your eBay bill depends on the distance entered in this field. The next time you record a transaction for this party, Distance will be pre-filled based on the address and PIN code mentioned in the party ledger. 
select the transporter name. You can set it as none if you are transporting the goods using your own or hired vehicle or by railways, air or ship. For this instance, let's select the transporter name. Enter the transporter ID provided by the transporter. Thereafter, you can provide the Part B details if you have the relevant information with you and want to send Part B details along with the party. Under Mode, select from the list of modes. Let's select Road. Now, enter vehicle number and date and select vehicle type. Enter the narration if needed. Press Ctrl A to save and you will get a confirmation screen for e-way bill generation. Press Y to accept. The e-way bill login screen appears as you can see. Enter your username and password. You will remain logged in for the next 6 hours provided you do not turn off the system you are working on or reset the credentials. Press Enter. As you can see, Tally Prime is exchanging information with the eWay bill system. As the exchange of information completes, a confirmation message appears. Thereafter, the preview of the invoice appears. Press Page Down. You can view the generated eWay bill with all the relevant details and QR code. Moreover, in the additional details screen, the eWay bill number and date get updated. Now, let's look at other configurations possible in eWay bill. You can override eWay bill threshold limit while recording the transaction. Click More Details or press Ctrl I, select Show More and press Enter. Select eWay bill applicability and press Enter. Now, set Generate eWay bill by ignoring the threshold limit to Yes. Press Ctrl I again. Go to eWay bill details and press Enter. Thereafter, you can enter the details and generate eWay bill for the transaction. You can generate eWay bill even if it is below threshold limit of Rs. 50,000. You can also configure the eWay bill based on the information you want. Press F12 and the configuration screen will appear. If there are multiple eWay bills for the consignment, then set Show Consolidated eWay bill number and date to Yes. It is important to know that you will need to generate the consolidated eWay bill offline. Thereafter, you can enter the consolidated eWay bill number and date in the additional details screen. For this instance, let us set it as no as consolidated eWay bill is not relevant to this particular transaction. Setting show subtype to yes will enable you to add details of the type of transaction in the print. It may be supply export or any other relevant to the consignment. Set show document type to yes. Subsequently, in eWay bill, you can print the document type like tax invoice, bill of supply or others as applicable. Now, if you want the details of consigner and consignee to be printed on eWay bill, then set show consigner details from and consignee details to, to yes and press enter. As you can see, more fields get added on the additional details screen. Enter all the details and press Ctrl A to save. Just select the subtype and document type as applicable. And the consigner and consignee details will be pre-filled based on the information provided in the party ledger. You can change if needed. Now, press Ctrl A. 
the confirmation screen appears. Press Y to generate eWay bill. Tally Prime is exchanging information with the eWay bill system. The additional details that we entered can be seen in the preview. As you saw, Tally Prime release 2.0 onwards, you have a seamless online process for eWay bill generation with all the eWay bill details including QR code. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com.